has been broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the yoke has been broken. You are free. My dear sisters, you are free. My adult sisters, my family, my body, my soul, you are free. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are free. Oh, 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 oh. my little sister. Yes, you are free from sex slavery. You are free. Hey, you are free. Oh, you are free. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you are free. Mama, 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 yo. Why and has white blue so beautiful are you? Yeah, my mama, my do. Hey, has white blue so very wonderful are you? Yeah, my mama, my yo. Hey, for you are someone else, princess. You are a princess of your prince. Yeah, my mama, my mama, yo. This is the reality of you. Now you are free, my dear sister, my body, my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are free. You are free. Hey, yeah, yeah. You are free. We are free. We are free. You are In his name. In his name. There is mercy extended unto you. In his name, there is eternal love extended unto you. In his name, there is deliverance. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, you are free. Yeah, yeah. In Abaya, was name? Devil flies away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven sides ablaze. Ooh, and mother run for our life. Yes, you are free, though. You are free. Oh, yeah. Mama, 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 Yes, you are free. My dog brothers, oh, my head, my brothers, oh, you are free, you are free, you are free. You are free. You are free, you are free, we are free. Mama, 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 yando bo. Eri bo 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 si kaya o. Eri ma wa ma shanda bo. Imori kaya ba yando. You are free in this name. Deliverance, stand upright. Oh, in his name. Free the banner over you in his name. Salvation say unto you, I am the very consummation of those moments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Name. There is no sea. There 
Greetings, family. Blessing, love, mercy, divine protection from above to you all. From the Father, from the Abba of all good things to all of us. So like I promised that I will be doing or I'm going to be doing the finishing touch of this very great event or movement new development that just took place in Edo precisely in the family of Edo in Edo tribe something unique from heavily took place about a week plus now or a few days ago like I promised in in the other video that today excuse me I'm supposed to be doing the finishing that was the second day of the week yeah, the one they call Monday or Moon Day. Originality is called Moon Day. Nevertheless, we'll go by what the royal course is the second day of the week. So, but other things just came up that, uh, yeah, running here and there, busy here and there. But I blessed Abba Yehuah for the chance today he gave unto me to do the very finishing touch of this uh, message we begins already all this testimony you know what just took place i think on the ninth of uh this very month it is a, it is very remarkable it is significant okay and uh it is a it already is history okay it is a deliverance powerful and uh a do men and a do women independence you know freedom that needs to be celebrated year after year next year i'm going to celebrate them i probably you want open door for me i'm going to call party for them i'm going to call <laughs> take out for them yes i pray i bet you want you know open doors for me i promised i'm going to gather all of them together i'm going to throw a big party for them because it is a soul being saved but we just begin the race, okay? Not that they are finally, finally, finally saved. Mm -mm. It is a race that we start already, okay? Because totally, adult women must repent and come out from prostitution. Totally, totally. About stop that the, the, the slavery, okay? About of adult only stop the slavery. No more trafficking, no more sex slavery. But mind you, Oba never said don't prostitute, okay? When you listen to that video, he never said no more prostitution, no more slavery. That is what Oba said. In order for salvation to come, in order for the total deliverance to take place, prostitute has to be done away with. It has to be, you know, nailed to the cross. It has already been done, but only for my Edo sisters and my Edo brothers the blessed family on earth to come into the knowledge of salvation now the surface like what Abba of Edo did it is like this way the surface has already been cleansed but what about the inside the inside that is what comes for life he can't do that he can't cleanse that he can't touch that that belongs to Abba Yehuah. It is the job of the Ruach HaKodesh now to come and flush away and purge away those dead works inside. And fill them now with his kind of life. Alright? So today we are going to be doing the finishing. Maybe you might be thinking now in your heart. Oh, she's so excited. 
why is she so into this matter yes this is why because i was once being there I know the slavery, I know the, you know, maturity, I know the intimidation, I know the oppress, I know the danger, I know the suffering, night and day. Oh, no. That is why I'm so happy. Okay. Abba Yawa did mine for me in this way. He used police to, you know, to threaten me. <laughs> deportation, 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 deportation. Oh, can't table. Oh. That I now begin to even pity my own self. Today, I just brought me to this earth only to be suffering for my damn finishing pain, the pause, finishing pain. Uh -uh. Was that the reason why I exist in the first place? Just to be suffering for a mighty, you know, I know the danger I came out from. Many die in that, you know, wicked uh, things, uh, you know, devil sempet taught us to be doing in Italy. Hmm? So that is why I'm so excited because like this, if you're not going to be, you know, stressing yourself to pay my dad, it will be very, very much easy for you, you know, to do a normal job, you know, to do a clean job and say, let me be surviving my life in this way until my husband comes to me. Okay, because you are not under uh, uh, pressure, you are not under threats, no one is going to drag your mother. Even when I did, I did, I was tired. I said, Madam, please, can you let me go? I wanted to show my power, you know, as human, that I have a right to say I'm tired. I, please, let me just be. Let me, oh, I want to look for something easy, simple to be doing. I'm tired for this prostitution. She now want to go and call people from me. I was so back. To drag my mother to our own swamba. Eh? So, those are the people we are seeing their picture now. My mother and I said, My daughter, they, they have gone to the worst of it all. They dragged me to our own swamba. Please, can you return back and give her what, you know, both, both of you agreed? I said, Mommy, I'm tired. Deportation, pain the deport, pain the. Oh, Mama, I'm tired. said, Please, my daughter, for peace to rain. Okay? So I return back. I have no choice. But like this now, my sisters, you have a choice. No one is dragging you, okay? No, nothing at all is, you know, making, giving you sleepless night. Night. Now you can do it. So here we are in the heavenly cut room of Abbe Yewa. That is why I'm so excited, okay? Because yours is so easy. The way the deliverance came, it was really, really, you know, easy. It is a proclamation. It is a declaration from above through the Oba of Edo. Okay, so here we are in the heavenly uh, cut room of Abba Yehovah with this very title. The course is Abba of Edo led on human trafficking slavery. If Abba Yehovah is not in it, <laughs> it's a veil. Demon don't cast out demons. Like you know, already it's not going to be having part to just one. That is the title. Demon don't cast, cast out demons. So how does it work? That is what we want to look into all these things. If Abba Yehua does not support it, sorry, it is just demon entertainment. Why? Then Juju, Abo, Ogun, whatever, all those iron, wood, goat. How can a goat redeem human being? Human being is more expensive than God. God is an animal. How can a goat die for human being to be, you know? Free, no, not at all. The other, uh, the 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 the, the uh, boss, whatever voodoo, juju, whatever power they brought out and laid that causes upon the murder, whoever there who holds that kingdom, it is the kingdom of darkness. Uh -huh. The prostitution ground, who also holds it, it is the kingdom of darkness. So, how can darkness cast out darkness? So, that's what I want to prove. In any, in, any, in, any, in any time or day, wherever you, you come across to this video, always know that Abba Yehovah did it for you. And that is my joy because Abba Yehovah is in it. He's inside this matter powerfully. In fact, he is the primary origin of it. And he is also the end. He is the Aleph and is the Tau. That is the beginning and the end of this very proclamation from the mouth of Abba of Edo. So right now, let us first of all dig into it. Now that Abbe Yehua is inside this matter, let's see how any mother that preceded, how their, their, their blood is going to be upon their own 
head or first of all deal with that part and now if he is not in it, <laughs> it I said the mother cast out the Lord. That is what the royal law said. Darkness don't keep darkness. So we will also see that version of demons entertain. You are just gonna be entertaining demon. Okay? It is getting demon, you know, excited. If I bet your wife is not in it, first of all, let's see if it's in it. What is gonna be happening and how is he gonna be doing it? You know, slaying all this wicked hematic. I know some men is also do, is also doing this wicked and human trafficking. They are all together one. So let's first of all talk with that. I'm doing this to let my brothers and sisters know that this deliverance came from above. In order for you not to be giving credit unto man, but unto the one that gave you the breath of life, that cares for you. Okay? That look into your condition, look into your situation, your suffering, and say no. I don't care all pastors, they have failed themselves, but I'm not going to fail myself. I'm going to use the next available, you know, object, you know, to bring deliverance for my people. Okay, I do people, not all, I do people are the family of Abbe Yehovah. We fled into the west coast of Africa in 70 AD. Okay, so the people of Yehovah is right there and the wife of priests and kings doing prostitute in Italy or wherever or the priest of Yehovah or the king of Yehovah doing shantro. Oh no, they was going to pay in sevenfold. For this so first of all let's tackle the first part that abbe yowa is in, is in this matter all right now family here i am you see all this amazon eh? all this wood all this uh you see all <laughs> they are all amazon <laughs> very funny <laughs> but they are powerful <laughs> Upon the disobedient children you see this amazon <laughs> uh, this uh it's not kaili <laughs> what is their name? Aomila. <laughs> oh my father, very funny. Oh, it's like it's like a Toto Izobo Lizzie. <laughs> like me, I seen it now like Izobo. But let's see how I I mean you was gonna use this Amazon. <laughs> I know you see this all this Amazon, all this stone, wood. You see my uh, uh wood, this one is wood, stone is also there, clay is also there. <laughs> this is gold. <laughs> oh my father my father is so awesome because i once used wow well, wow well, my life and i was believing this you know a toto is so bold is it i was believe on it as a god that this one can save me but right now let's see how i mean you always gonna be is gonna be using this uh, object or what does this object represent okay that's what i want to see what is the power behind this object? Because Abba Yewa is in it. Therefore, there is a spirit before this object. Don't just look at it as a clay or stone or wood or mat. No. Or goat. Mm -mm. Don't look at it. If Abba Yewa is in it, therefore, there is something behind this a natural eye cannot see. And that's something behind it. They are very, very dangerous. They are very, very mercilessly. There is no male sin in their heart. They don't pity no human being. Mother, I'm speaking to you in order for you know not to be, you know, your blood not to be upon your own head and dispute, and, you know, and, and look down upon this Amazon and whatever stone and whatever in order for you not to, you know, uh, 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 play games with it. This one can also help you somehow, you know, to put your house in order and repent. If not, <laughs> all this Amazon, <laughs> oh, yes, and see, oh, which is a wizard, all this Obu Babala. <laughs> Do you know the power inside of there? There is spirit, powerful, wicked spirit behind it. That wicked spirit behind it have no mercy. Let's see how Abba you is going to be using all this object, you know, to deal with you uh, that is in slavery, the image of Yehovah. And here I am, hearing me, Yehu, uh, 22, 25. Listen now, and I will give thee into the into into the hand of them that seek that very life, and into the heart of them whose face thou fearest, even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. The Oba of Edo is a Nebuchadnezzar of these days. Okay, Nebuchadnezzar don't serve Almighty Yehovah. This is what he was serving, all this idol. 
this is his gods, and this is what he believed. Exactly what Abba of Edo believed on. You see, he want to lay cause, he want to make a proclaim or declaration. He brought out the Amaze and the Ogun and whatever. Yes. And Abba Yawa said, because he is going to give you now to all this. They are going to crush it. Do you know what Ogun is? Accident. Eh? Ogunba. <laughs> Don't dare. Because Abba Yawa is in it. You see why? He's in it. You see, if he's in it, this is what is going to happen. He said, and I will give thee into the hand of death that seek your very life. All this image seek your very life. Abba seek your very life. Because you cannot be polluted the land in his hand. No. Abba Yawa said, if you pollute the land, the land is going to spill you out. And Abba has already released Ogun. If you don't clear out of the way, if you don't pack off. You see this Ogun? <laughs> Abba Yawa will use it. You know Ogun accident. That is all timing. Horrible shade about. Let me put some more. Again, here we are in Yerimiyahu, Yerimiah 21, verse 7. It is Abba Yehua speaking over here. And afterwards, saith Yehua, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Yehuda, and his servants, and the people, and such as are left in this city from Pexless, from the sword. From the family into the hand, now listen, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those that seek their very soul, and he shall smite them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare. Did you get that? Did you get this? Are Nebuchadnezzar, this are cowardly, sir. <laughs> he said, Okay, you don't want to die in this manner. Because you refuse to repent. Therefore, I'm going to give you now to the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. And this is what he said there. These things is, are the gods of the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. He said, it's, it's, it's your enemy that seek your very soul. Oh, by so determined. Eh? And all these gods, all these things you are seeing, they are determined to suck blood, okay? <laughs> Be warned. Don't make light of this. Not that I'm praising this crap. No, where Abba Yawa is not involved, so I'm telling you the consequences, the implication. If you dare, you, if you dare, he said, I'm going to give you, this is what he's going to handle you to. Because these very things, they are blood-sucking demons. They are demons, all these, all these things. You are serpent, devil, they are all here, inside the, all this image. That makes it works, not just the stone. No, not just uh, the mold of the clay. No, not just mat. No, not just um wood. We use wood to cook food now. Uh -uh. No, but the, the power behind all those things, they are representative of wicked spirit, demons. That is blood sucking demons. And Abba Yawa said, because you disobey me, my dear, therefore, I'm going to handle you to this very image, demons that seek your life. And they're going to suck your blood. Okay? Because you fear me not. Fear Abba Yehua. Therefore, this is your end. These people, they are going to, these demons, they are going to put you to death. And suck your blood. Okay? Now, let's see one more time. So that's a Yerimi Yehu 34, 20. I'm just proving to you that all this image, there is power behind them. If Abba Yehua involves in it, it can use anything by anything. Like if you listed on the first video that I did, I, I, I prove it to you. Maybe we're also going to be putting some in this, okay? In case you, are not, you, you haven't watched that or listened to that. I unveiled how Abba Yehua create, created all things for himself. So now that the pastor, the so-called representative of Yehua here on earth, Busy buy for private jet, failed, shame on you all. Fear for you wanna shift now to the king of Nebuchadnezzar, to the king Nebuchadnezzar, which is all bar of Edo. Mm? To use him, you know, to bring deliverance to his people. And that is awesome. Alright, now here I am, okay. 34 Jeremiah 34 20. I will even give them into the hand of their enemies. This is the third mouth from Abi Yehua. I will even give them into the hands of their enemies and into the hands of them that seek their very life. 
and their dead bodies shall be for meat unto the bells, uh, uh, shall be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, mm, and to the beasts of the earth. There is fowl in 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 the in the firmament, and there is a beast. Beast is even plural. Bells or fowls are plur uh, plurals. Okay, there is power up in heaven in the firmament that is going to be feeding on your body. There is also power here on earth, the beasts that is going to be feeding on your dead bodies. So who are they? <laughs> I'm going to prove it to you. All right, now here I am, Bereshit 3 verses 15 or Genesis. Better know as Genesis. All right, now 14, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to be ready 14, 3, 14. And Yehovah Elohim said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art caused above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go. Listen now, and dust shall thou eat all the days of your lives. So now we proceed to 19. All the days of your life, you are going to be eating dust. So we'll see who is dust or what is dust. Verses 19 now. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. Out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. So you're going to be the food of demons, okay? <laughs> we see. Serpent, you're going to be eating dust all the days of your life, okay? Now, who is dust? It is you and me, human being. Human being is the food of these demons, okay? So right now, if you're disputed, if you don't run for your life, my dear, whether you are a man or a woman, I don't care. <laughs> your body is going to be food. You see, he said there is power in the hair, in the feminine. That is witches and wizard. You saw those babala, they are witches a wizard. It's wusu. <laughs> oh, my father. They are. Let me put some more for you. What are we proving over here? That all this image, there is power. And the power that behind them, that is what I'm revealing unto you. And what is Abiyo? What is going to use it, you know, to deal with any lawbreaker? Because the royal law even make us to see, make us know we should obey the law. I'm not obeying demons, okay? But why this demon is going to be effective? Abi Yewa is in it. How? He said because you did not save him, because you forsake him, because you prefer to do the will of the devil. Therefore, I'm going to handle you to them, your enemy that seek your very soul, okay? That your bodies, your dead body is going to be food for the fowls of the heaven, okay? Which is the witches and wizard. And the beasts of the earth, which is the serpent, your belly shall die, go. And these are all blood-sucking demon. So he is using this too. Okay. <laughs> and we see how he is, he, is, he is using it. Here I am, Revelation 19, 17 to 18. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great Yehovah, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of men, both free and bare, both small and great. You see? So who are they? They are all witches and wizards. Witches are wizards that fed on human beings. And the human flesh is their food. I bet you what gave it unto them to their, you know, grand grandfather, the very serpents. Okay, he said, This is the food I have for you because you are saint. Therefore, you are going to be working with people, and those people you are going to be teaching how to do wickedly before me. I'm going to give them as food to you. So that's what witches so wizard they are so soaked or dipped in human flesh. They fed on human flesh and they drunk on human blood. That is their food. That is their nature. Okay? They are not doing anything bad. They are just eating their food. When you are hungry, you go for food. 
Now you madam, whether you are my woman, the demon, the kingdom of Semper, they have they have you know they sit inseated themselves against you because now they are very you know tasty to drink your blood and now they are very very hungry to eat your food to eat your body they are still famished if you don't get out of the way they are gonna eat you how because you do wickedly you pollute the land you defy the laws of the land trading trading on human on you the image of Abba Yehovah how can I? That is the payment from it. We are looking into if Abba Yehovah is in it. How is he going to be doing it? That is what I'm proving unto you. All right, now here I am, Aksaya, Yeshiyahu, chapter 47. I want to read to you here. Come down and sit in the dust, O Velji daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the male stones and grand male, uncover thy locks, make bow the leg, uncover the tie, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will spare, I, I, I will take vengeance and I will not meet, uh, meet thee as a man. Abba Yahweh is not going to meet you, madam, as a man, like Abba do, no. It's going to be it's a disaster on you, okay? It's a disaster on you. As for our Redeemer, the Yehovah of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Yisrael. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of the Kingdoms. You sit upon the people of Yehovah. <laughs> I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my heritage and given it them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy uh, or slavery. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavy led their yoke. Do you see big people, big person? Oh, well, that will just carry a tiny stick. We hit it on your head. Drag it, you want to fight him? Hey? Oh, Agbuna. Oh, Agbuna. Oh, no. That is evil. Evil. So, we poor Pepe, like one that the, 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 her mother just killed. Yeah, in, Bel um, yeah, uh, uh, in Belgium. Only because she couldn't, you know, complete the money mother requested for. And they also did it for me. They also beat me. Eh? If the money you agreed to be given, maybe, you know, <laughs> The customer did not come. Oh, father, it's it's beating. Eh? So tomorrow, so to, tomorrow, don't try that nonsense. You must complete that money. So this lady, this girl was unable. Her mother bitter, unspeakable, and a carry pepper and pour in her vagina. This lady, this girl died. She died in this matter. She died in it. The way some mother has, you know, treated people, no, your end has come. And thou saidest, thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. <laughs> you are going to be my mother forever. So thou, even me as I'm talking now, the hair they took from my body, the a pound they took from me, uh, the fingernails, it's still with my dad, eh? Because as I give my life to Yehovah, I don't even care about those nonsense. In fact, that I forgot it for a very long time. If not for this thing, Oba did. I don't even remember it. When, when he now make a said that she returned, the other say, hey, oh, really? Oh, this woman also took something like that from you. <laughs> oh, is it still with, oh, my father. I said, oh, because I don't even know if a, a life like that exists anymore. Because the foolish Babala was said, the one, you know, when you are going to travel, they will call some Babala to come and do a work, spiritual work for you. That one said, as soon as I finish paying the mother, he said, I have to buy Malu to come and celebrate his gods. Okay? So that is Thanksgiving. I agreed. Okay? I said, okay, I will do it. I agreed. And the Babala also said, I have to pay so so a month. I think it was, yeah, it was then $400. He said, for his own, I have to pay $400. As soon as I finish paying the mother, I agreed. So $400 plus Malu for Thanksgiving. I agreed. So fortunately, uh, the music changed. The music just changed. 
after I paid Manda, I paid her left over three thousand dollars. She charged me fifty thousand dollars. So that was the last trip I came. The very fourth time. Abi, yeah, first, yeah, the very fourth time, because I was being deported three good times. So when I now return again, the very fourth time, I have to pay another fifty thousand dollars. So I succeed in paying that money. I was still paying that money before Abi Yewas called me. Okay. If not for that, I should have still. I would have still you know, paid the leftover three thousand dollars. Oh, they use police to threaten me. They want to deport me the fourth time. Like I shared the testimony already in my little biography. And I said, no. Inside prison facing the fourth deportation. Oh, no. This is bad. What is going on around me? What kind of life is this? Ah, I did I just come into this world to be paid mother and deport, pay mother, deport, pay mother. What kind of life? Oh, no. The ticket, everything is ready. I'm already in the deportation camp. My lawyer said, sorry, I, I, I wanted to help, but I couldn't, the, 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 the authority, they conclude already, they are going to send you back. Oh, my father said the fourth time, the fourth time deportation. They are not beginning to talk to, but that I call him God. I'm not beginning to talk to a God I never knew. I said, God, they said, hey, when people is in trouble, hey, when they call your name, hey, you will just help them. If only you can stop this deportation, you know, I'll be so free. And be so free and be so free. If only you can stop it, I will save you for the rest of my life. I won't do prostitution no more. As soon as I make this simple prayer, it's not even up to 30 minutes. Me that was supposed to be deported, the story changed, the music, the music just changed. They just come, uh huh. They open my door, uh huh. Come to the recession, I go there because I said you are free. Meanwhile, if they want to deport you, that's what they also say you are free. Now you are going back to your country, no more prison. You know, that's what they was always or uh, uh, they will also tell you, you are free. Okay, mm. I may I know you are free. It is deportation. They are taking me to the airport. You know, to fly me back to Nigeria empty-handed again. The fourth time, my soul was bleeding. What kind of life have I engaged myself into? What brought me into this Italian madness in the first place? Why am I so free? I don't. I have no answer. As I get to the uh, uh, yeah to the recession, they gave me my bag. They gave me my things. They said go. And I said, I asked them, am I supposed to go alone? He said, uh uh, you don't know your place or your house. You say you live in Burma at all. Go away. Into your to where you uh, really? Is this really really freedom? That was how. That is why I was so happy when I heard heard this declaration from about no more payment, no more slavery. Oh no. I remember how Abayuwa did it for me by himself. He freed me. Go away. You are free. You don't know the road to your place. Uh oh. That was how Abayuwa stopped that madness in me. When I got home, I stayed at home for three weeks. You know, nothing to do now. No help from nowhere. I'm a mother. I have to pay rent. I have to eat. How am I going to survive? Uh -huh. When it was just three weeks, Another voice came unto me, remember you are a mother, remember you have a responsibility, why can't you just go to the red light and do this prostitution and solve a problem before you repent, before you stop. You need, when, as soon as I heard that voice, that night I stood on my feet, I got my property again, but then I didn't throw them away, the things we are using over there, I packaged them all together, put it in my bag, I call one lady, we always go together, sister will be starting work today, uh, that one say you have already tried, a whole three weeks, oh, come over baby, that we well as miss each other, at the last metro, inside metro we'll see each other, ah, okay, I got there, oh sister, ah, they embrace me, they embrace me, ah, welcome back to the fiddle, ah, as soon as I came down from that metro, the voice spoke unto me, this is not what you told me when you were in the prison. You say you will never enter here anymore. You say you're going to save me for the rest of your life. You have broken the... <laughs> as soon as I received that voice, it's like they pour cold water on me. I begin to shave. And I said, sister, my heart is telling me that police is going to arrest me to again this night. She now said, no. That is the symptom. When you just come from prison, 
in fact at the very first day you're going to start the job again you know you must have that thought that thought must come to you will be afraid of police again and i said but my, my heart is telling me i will be arrested again he said no 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 don't be afraid i understand anyone that went to prison as soon as they come out the very first day they will start the job yeah that's what they always come to mind you will be afraid of police okay she encouraged me and now we move down into the red light as soon as we step our feet into the red light somebody you call this lady don't stand though don't even try it police is everywhere they are arresting people hell oh, i said sister i told you hell oh, another prison has come this is fun deportation hell he said don't say that don't say that okay let us pass the other side so we're going to take night bus because now metro stop already so that we're going to take night bus back home <laughs> because the place we are going for to do the prostitution i don't live in that place city okay i live in the other city okay oh sister we, uh, the place the very place we want to pass come and see koti <laughs> come and see koti everywhere oh no it was this was how they caught me again that night hey and i said oh this is selfishness of me what voice have I heard? Who oh, speak to me? You have deceived me. You brought me here. Now it's prison. deportation. It's deportation. The woman was not even crying for herself. She was crying for me that just nearly came from prison. She was crying for me that miraculously escaped deportation. He said, my sister, you said this. You assume I, know we should have, I would have just asked you to go by. I encourage you to come that it is like that. I never know what, what, what your heart was telling you was true. And I said, deportation, sister. Mama Salome is deportation. He said, no, don't worry. God, God will help you. We are calling God in that grand day. <laughs> oh, no. What an ignorance. But as soon as I got there, they handcuffed me this time like a, a thief. As soon as I got there, I couldn't sleep all night through because the thing happened in the night. I was panicky. Prison deportation. Only three ways. Uh huh. As they, they came now, you know, to do, take our temperate. I was the first person for them to come. As soon as they just called me, and my body is shaking. I said, it's prison and deportation. That one is concluded, settled. The man just, you know, took my finger, prayed, everything happened. He was in prison, so prison. I said, yes. You were supposed to be deported. I said, yes. You were freed three weeks ago. I said, yes. What are you doing here? I begin to cry my life as if somebody died. Uh, it's not my fault. I'm hungry. Oh. I'm a single mother. Nobody is helping me. Oh. Hey, help me. Hey, if you leave me, I will never come here again. Where the mercy, the way tears like hot water was coming from my face. Because facing the fourth deportation. The police said, did you promise you will never come here again? I said no. He now asked me, do you really like this work? I said no. But no help. I'm a single mother. I need to take care of my children. The Cortina said, okay. Tell this so so address, go to so so address. Since you say you will never come here no more, I'm going to pardon you this very last time. Go to so so address, go and be taking food from there. Never you enter if I see you here. And I said, if you see me, say if I see you here, I'm going to jail you. I'll put you in prison. Afterwards, I will deport you. That's what they are doing in the Netherlands. Only in the Netherlands, I know that you can even go for uh, go in prison for one year because of prostitution. In Italy, they don't do that. Italy hires maybe for this. If they want to deport you, they will deport you. If they want to leave you, they will leave. Those ones, they don't keep people long. But Holland, yeah, you can even spend two years in prison. Okay? So the man has said, I will first of all arrest you and put you in prison. And afterwards, I will send you back to where you came from. And I said, that one is even too kind of you. If you ever see me again, you have a gun, shoot me in the... Uh, just shoot my leg. Don't kill me, but shoot the man I say you mean I say I mean it. Then he now gave me the address to go and be taking free food. This was how Abeyowa ends my own. There and now no time is for salvation. No more prostitution. That was how I ended. As just like this. And the mother was trying to make Nana say, Mother, come on. <laughs> if you don't be careful, Nana, I'm very dangerous. I don't want to pro and this mother she called herself a believer. She don't play with church. Every Sunday you see her there, she will even be quoting scripture for me. Me, I don't know then. I will be thinking, uh -huh, maybe that is how a Christian is. I never know. It, it was total blasphemy. So one of us, Elba was saying, what that me, ya you here? Am I a Whether you are a believer, we don't see your heart, we only see your flesh. And I remember, I said, yes, because the mother that I was paying this huge amount to, she is called herself a Christian. Oh! 
I'm not even announce me. I thought she's gonna be happy. I now say sister. Her. See what happened to me. Oh, now it's salvation. No, he said, Who told you that? What about my three thousand dollars? How am I going to get it? I said, Sister, you after that one. Me, I'm not after any, any of that one. Assuming they deport me, so you will come and be asking for that money. Oh, are you angry for me because I'm almost finished paying? Are you angry for me because? Oh, uh, they, they left me. Uh, the yeah, I was being freed. Oh, uh, because they didn't deport me. He said, No, I didn't wish you deportation, but you must pay me the leftover three thousand. This woman dragged me. Uh, not just this woman. She not even want to go and report me to that or Babalawo. <laughs> that I also make a pro make promise to Babalawo. Now also begin to drag me. Finish pay so that you come and give me my four hundred euro. My case was tough, eh? My case was tough. That again, this woman now went to our swabber to go and report. Three good times. Higher killers always come to my mother's house. Meanwhile, my mother said, each time they, 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 they are coming to her in that night, something will just wake her up to be praying. He said something will just type her to be praying. So when these guys now came the third time, they now uh, hit the door for my mother to open. My mother now opened to them. He now said, Madam, we are becoming to you. We are becoming to you. We are becoming to you. But Easter will come. We always hear you praying. We always, we, we, we always come. We want to come and kill you. But tell your daughter to go and finish paying. So that was how we knew that it was my mother that sent those guys. But tell her to finish paying the money. My mother now said, okay. Say because each time I come to come and kill you, I will hear you praying. So my heart always pushed me back from you. My heart always does that. But tell your daughter to finish paying the money. As my mother, okay, called me. And I said, mommy, how am I going to pay that money? Now me, I even strongly had to see where I'm taking food from. I'm taking food from the government. How, how am I going to do that? How am I, my, my mother now said, if that is the case, you have, you have to return back to prostitution. I said, hey, I will not enter there anymore. You want them to deport me. Before you knew it, the Babala one also come to be waging war against my mother. It was case, it was serious. But I don't know, the church I run into that time, the pastor now tell me, never you return back. Never. If you return back, something worse is going to happen to you. So that was how Almighty Yahweh stopped my Baba Lawo make noise, make noise. She got tired. The, the madame, those mad men, they never want to come anymore. She make noise, make noise. She got tired. Now, she now begin to, she now say, okay, we are family, no need to be quarry. And my daughter, because one girl wanted to implicate her in Italy, that one denisha her, that one gave her to police, so she now run to Nigeria. She's in Nigeria now. Now, she, sometimes she will just come, my daughter, beg now, your mama don't have anything to eat, oh. please, can you help with feeding money? I said, okay, mama, sis, you don't tell me, don't say it to me, because, because I don't owe you no money. Sometimes we say that 50 euro. <laughs> sometimes we say how I did it twice. So what I now see that it's like a system. She's still trying to bring me to that covenant. And I wonder. I say if you proceed more than this, therefore I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to the police. That was how she ran away from me. You see? So their wickedness is unspeakable. Big as I am, this woman will be releasing her hand on me, the so-called Christian. So Abba Yawa said, no more of that nonsense. Okay, he did mine for me direct by himself, direct by himself. But he now used a bit of a do to do the leftover. That is the multitude. Because my heart was just a single. <laughs> so now verses 8. Therefore hear now this, thou that are giving to pleasure. Okay, I think I read the place I want to read. Because here he's talking about enchantment. He's talking about stargazing. He's talking about using power of darkness, sorceries. Okay, that is what he's talking about. Because this is what the daughters of cowardings we are using against the people of the book. Okay, just like my dad, you know, take my hair for what reason? What are you going to use it for? Okay, well, by fire, you see. So, their judgment has already come. Abbe Yehua is in it because they did it to me, the very bride of Abbe Yehua. <laughs> they did it to me. <laughs> So with that hunger, <laughs> you also did it to the, the turn the most high. Okay, see, this will go back. <laughs> it's gonna do something disastrous. I bet you why it's gonna use it. Now look down it. Not that I praise this crap, but I bet you why we use whatever that is available to do his work. Okay, 
So from like we read already in Isaiah 47, we see it is judgment time. Why am I so happy? If you are a believer and you practice the royal law, you're going to find out if you also you are aware that the people of the book fled into West Coast of Africa in 70 AD. Most precisely, Nigeria, majority of them are in Nigeria. Therefore, you're going to understand the reason why I'm so happy, it is free the time. Because when you go to uh, the Deborah 28, the Theronomy, you're going to see these courses from verses 16 way down to 68. That Abiyawa led upon us because we disobey. And the reason why I'm so happy is that he said we'll go back to Egypt again. Okay? So we know the bondage of Egypt, it is slavery. Okay? So now what happened? Even in those days, according to the book of Yashir, even in Egypt, there is one of the people of the book that the Egyptians, even though she was a married woman, the Egyptians now went into the house, tied the husband hand and feet, and now begin to do this abomination that meant not to be done on earth, the very abomination that that, that, that defies the land, and now begin to do it in the presence of her husband. And now went into a married woman, Tied her husband hand and feet, not that he came to stay, no, he came as an amber only to have sex with a married woman. You see, so we are going back to Egypt again the second time. Alright, so this is what all this madam use us to do that you will be seeing blood. They won't, they won't even let you be. You are seeing blood through uh uh two three days time, the thing will be over. Madame won't let you stay at home. You will carry that blood to the street and be having sex even in blood time. These women, they are wicked. They are wicked. Rather, they will be giving you something to put into your vagina. Some people caught that accident, that, that very object they will give to you to be sucking the blood in order for you to go to work and not to stay at home until the blood runs or dried. They will give you that. Oh, my dad have it. They will give it to their guests. Put it inside your vagina. You know, why doing that job, somehow the thing can go into your womb. And I see a lot of sisters did abortion for this very thing. Why she give it to me? As soon as, soon as I came, I met with the very good people. Then I said, when you are seeing blood, this is what they are going to give to. Don't use it. Eh? Many women here always, you know, do uh, operation for this reason. Because while the men slave with them, somehow they will push those things, you know, inside their womb. Many people did oppression for that. If you don't want that to tear your belly, you can take it from Madame, but don't use it. Don't put it in your body. Don't use it. Okay. So this lady, what she was doing, she would save money. She also taught, she taught me how to do that. She would save money ahead on the time, before the time she's going to be seeing blood. So when she's seeing blood, everybody will still leave house, okay? Not go to the street. But we are not doing it because blood is overflowing. Before I met this lady, I was doing it. She now said, don't do it. Don't do it. Save money. Be saving so, so money like this. So that whether I say ma is three days. Now I said, okay, therefore you're going to save money for three days ahead. So now you have to do more to get that three days extra in order for you not to carry blood. But if I don't get it, I still carry the blood. <laughs> we still carry the blood. Revelation 8 is so filth. It's so sad. It's so it's unspeakable. The very one I'm revealing unto you now, it is the light, light one. Judgment has come for Madame. It is Babylon judgment. We see Isaiah 47 already. It is their judgment. Revelation 18, it is also the judgment of Babylon because Babylon is fully already. All right, now my part over here for my sisters in a, in a Italy across the the, the 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 universe that is still into it. Here is a the year is a warning now also for you. You have a part to play, okay? So this is what Abi Yowa did this very art to command of uh, my people for all nature. Revelation eighteen fourteen. Or should I take it for one? And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power and and the earth was lighted up with his glory. And he cry, uh, cried uh, mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is folly, is folly. And he is become the uh, habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul uh, spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful belt. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the uh, wrath 
of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the Marshanites of the earth have washed a rich through the abundance of our delicacy, our delicacies is speaking of the devil and his teaching and his ministry. Christian though they are number one, primary Chinese. My, my mother was a Christian, okay? My once mother, our phone, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, this is your pet, my sister and my brother. And I heard, I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of our sin, and that ye receive not of her plex for her sins have reached unto heaven and Yahuwah has remembered her iniquities reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she hath filled fill to her double how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, I am no widow, and shall see no more sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is Yehuah that who uh, uh, Yehuah who judgeth her. Did you hear that? Come at her because judgment is coming now to all this mother that is, 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 is you know trading on human being, human trafficking, slavery, sex slavery. Powerful judgment is coming for them. That is why Abi Yawa use a bar of a door to separate you. Come out of her, my people, so they won't be a partaker of that judgment. So we are still into if Abi Yawa Abi Yawa is in it, hundred percent with capital letter yes is in it. Don't don't look down upon all this Oguega, okay? <laughs> it's gonna do that disaster, okay? In the life of this wicked mother, whether you are wicked, you are not wicked. For you to trade a a, a, a human being, you are wicked. You, you meant not to do a thing like that. If you want to help somebody, okay, you sponsor somebody ten thousand. If you really want to help, why can't you take fifteen or twenty? Go and do whatever job you want to do. Must it be a prostitution? Why must you do that? You don't have to go look for a job, normal job, clean job. You can be giving it to me anyhow. Whether 200, 300, you can be doing it every month. No, you want 3,000. So we even have the girls to say 6,000. I don't know how do you want me to get that. My no, mother requested for 6,000. You not put me the work in the morning. You not put me the work in the evening. You know, for a month, I have to be balancing what? So if I don't have it, he will say, yeah, that is why I look for a place that is so busy. You have to be, you know, get, because normally it's 3000 okay, in a month. But now, he said, that is why she want me to be paying double. That is why she got me, you know, engaged. No, no sleeping. Eh? Night and day. Night, oh no. Oh no. Only Abe Yewaka, you know, see what I went through during those time. Mm -mm, it's unspeakable. The enslavement is so unspeakable. You can't sleep. So here I am, Amox 3, 6. We are looking into if Abayawa is in it. How is he going to do it? That is what we are looking into. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and Yehuwa had not done it? You see what is going on now? Abayawa is saying, can this thing just come into being without me? No, he said he is the one. Okay. All right, now here I am. Isaiah 45, verses 7. For, for, for I, excuse me, I from the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yehuwah, do all these things. You see, these are part of darkness. He said he created it. Okay. He said he created it. That makes it powerful. If I buy your is not in it, I'm gonna I'm gonna also show it to you how how powerless it is. Just the more they're gonna be, they are just intact. All of these things, which means they are playing drama for you. They are a movie, okay? So he say he this are power of darkness, which is a wizard. All these demons. He create. Say he is the one that did it, okay? And when when this if this thing begin to suck, he say can never take place in the city. I who did not do it. He said he. 
like the World Trade Center. He said, yes, I did it. You are going to be seeing the disaster that's going to be happening among these wicked men. Here I am, Sam, or Teheli, for uh, 87, excuse me, 78 verses 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his hunger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. All these people, they are all evil angels. <laughs> Do you know what evil angels does? The one we call demons, <laughs> power of darkness. We see, say he is the one that created it. Now, because people disobey him, what did he do? He said he now sent unto them evil angels. So we are going to see how Abbe Yuwa is using this evil. These are all these you are seeing. They are evil angels. All right, now here I am, First Kings, uh, twenty-two, ninety to twenty-one. I read. And he said, yeah, we are talking, we are looking into the evil angels. How Abi Yowa is assigning there. All these Amazon, they are all evil angels. They are all evil angels. They are all evil angels. So I read. And let's see how he is sending out the evil angels. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yehuah. I saw Yehuah sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And Yehuah said, Who uh, who shall persuade Ahab? Ahab was a very wicked king, like, like all this mother, they are very wicked, okay? Who, sh uh -huh. who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall? At Aramath uh, Gilead, and one said this because he wanted he want Ahab to die now. You need to go to war and be and guess uh, and, and be slaughtered over there. Now listen now. And one said on this manner, heavenly council was going on concerning the death of Ahab, like this wicked Edoma. Heavenly council is going on right now. How you will die by accident, by Ogun, that is Ogun, because you are also polluting the land. Sitting on people's head to fill their pocket, Ogun will also kill you in Yahuwah's mighty name. This, this is the cancer that is going on right now. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, 21, now, uh, and they come, excuse me, okay, I, I still have to finish reading the 22, persuade her, a uh hundred to four, and once, uh, one and, and one said on this manner, and the other said on that manner. I bet you call him, he called meeting in heaven. I want this man to die. I just I don't want to see this man here on earth anymore. Who is going to do the job for me? Listen now. The angel on the right said discuss this, and the angel at his left, uh, left hand discuss this. Listen now, twenty one. And there come forth a spirit and stood before Yahuwah and said, I will persuade Ahab. These are the evil angels. Twenty two. And Yahuwah said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth uh, mouth of his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him, and prevail also go forth and do so. 23. Now therefore, behold, Jehovah hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and Yehovah had a spoken evil concerning thee. Evil has already been sp spoken concerning all this matter. That is why about get provoked. About if I don't get provoked, I said no. This must be stopped. Abba Yawa put it in his heart. Enough must be enough. You see, all these women you are seeing are they are all wizard witches. Excuse me. These are wiz witches, and we also see a power like this. Right in the royal law, first Samuel 28 or so, yeah, the witches of Edo. The witches of Edo was also using this kind of a power. She was a woman. Okay, all these are witches. Madam, you are in trouble. They are going to suck your blood, okay? I bet your wife is going to use them to do that. That's what we are looking into because it's inside this matter. Because the, the time of slavery is over. Our Messiah is about to come. So the house needs to be prepared. I bet your wife is moving you know behind the unsee in getting his people 
prepared. This one that you have to place the step one. Not that it's finished. No, it's the step one. All right now. First Samuel, or sixteen forty. But Yehovah, but the spirit of Yehovah departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from Yehovah troubled him. <laughs> and Saul fifteen. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from Yehovah troubleth the evil spirit. All these women, they are all evil spirits. Do you know what contains inside of them? <laughs> you are in trouble. Here I am, uh, first somewhere 18, 10. And it come to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from Yehovah came upon Saul, listen now, and he prophesied in the midst of the house and uh, that weed played with his hand at, as, at other times, and there was okay. That's not what I'm after. You see, when the evil spirit come upon Saul, and I begin to prophesy. You see now, as the evil spirit come upon these people, they are declaring, and their declaration is weightful. Their declaration it is powerful. Why? Because Abba Yehovah is the one walking with the evil spirit in them. Okay, because Pastor Phil. You know, in the days of Moshe, the prophet, prostitution is not allowed. Huh? Well, Christianity said Jesus nailed the Lord to the cross. So now prostitution is everywhere. Even inside their so-called congregation. Prostitution, pastor, he says it's fornicating. But when we return back to the real, uh, royal law, fornication is not allowed, prostitution is not allowed. You know, oh no. They now reduce the Almighty of the Bible into into God of iniquity, into a God that propagates iniquity. So Abba, what well, you see now shift from them and say, let me use this one. Since Abba, Abba himself, Abba of Edo himself is against it, therefore I'm going to work with Abba of Edo. Let me throw all these useless pastors away. Shame on you, Christa Hinome. Shame on you, Oyedi, because shame on you, John Sisule destruction. Shame on, on you all. In your presence, in the power of the so-called presence of you, prostitution is full everywhere in Edo. Shame or you couldn't bring this. The deliverance could not come from you. But it now came now from the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. Abba of Edo is Nebuchadnezzar. But Abba you want to use him to do a remarkable thing. Anytime we bring out this topic, we are going to be remember. This is how I'm going to be remembering this Abba. I can never forget him. Because Abba Yehovah used him to do something remarkable that put joy and smile in me. Here I am. Still, 4 Samuel 19, verses 9. And the evil spirit from Yehovah was upon Saul as he sat in his house. Okay? You, I'm proving to you that all oh, these things, all oh, these are all my life. See, Ogun is over there. I must say, Sudoka Gele. It's over there. You see it now? Yes, these are evil spirits. It's gonna come upon the disobedient one to you know to destroy you. Okay, so all right now, let us also. I want to put one more before we go into if Abba Yawa is not in it. It's gonna be the Toto Emababa Lizzy. <laughs> the Toto is a bolizzy. <laughs> but it's in it. That is my joy. But if it's not, it's not inside of it. I'm also going to give you that picture for you to know that demons don't cast that demon. Okay? In order for you not to be giving credit to all this uh, in my Baba Lizzie or go is go. <laughs> I used to remember those days. Oh, my father. The day my mother will keep out for Oloku will be very joy, you know, joyful that day because what are you chicken? <laughs> And the day we will say you must do a snow kagele today. Go and buy goat to oh that day. I would that's because I'm going to eat goat meat. Because if all the uh, Baba Lord don't tell my mother to go and buy chicken, to go and buy goat, ah, we don't eat any of those things until when until when a Christmas day. Then we will celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Only once in a year. We will eat goat or we will eat chicken. But if my mama, mother go to Babala, Babala will say, you, you have to do goat, it's no sacrifice. We are very happy. Come, we will eat goat. Hey! What the days of ignorance. Those are the days of ignorance. Here I am now, Exodus 12, 23. Where deliverance, where deliverance like this always, you know, 
when Abba Yehua releases deliverance, when he says it is time for my people to come out from bondage, the Egyptians always go for it, okay? Like this Edoma, you wicked animal. You see people, you know, <laughs> you, are, you are about to die. You must die because I'm praying against you heavily. You can sit on my glory and me suffering. No, you have to die. I need to take what belongs to me. The kingdom of Yehua suffering violent. And the violent people just take it by force. All right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Okay. Exodus 12, 23. For Yehuah will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he sitteth. All right now. I take it again. For Yehuah will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two doorposts, Yehuah will pass over the door and will not suffer, listen now, and will not suffer the destroyer to come into your houses to smite you. 29. The destroyer came. And the destroyer is about dead though. 29 read, and it came to pass that at midnight that Yehuah smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of the Pharaoh that sit on his throne, that sat on his throne, unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon, and all the first, be first beasts of cattle. What, what does cattle have to do, you know, with Yuma? You know, yes, Abba Yehuah is letting you know that when I'm when I'm on the move, any, anything by thing, go for it. Anything that has to do with the Hemite, go for it. Okay, so this is how Abbe Yehua, you see, he said the destroyer, not Abbe Yehua. Abbe Yehua himself cannot go into battle, no. All this evil spirit, that is what he is using. What is the destroyer? The destroyer simply means Abadedo. Abadedo, you can go to Revelation, you're going to find Abadedo over there. Who is Abadedo? Abadedo simply means the angel of death. And who is this angel of death? Genesis 3, where I read already. The day you will touch this tree of good and evil, you shall surely die. And who was that tree? It is the serpent. Revelation 12 now said, That same serpent, the old, the dragon, the old serpent deceiveth the whole world. And who was the authority of Pharaoh? It was the dragon. Should I read it for you? It was the dragon. Dragon is also being called serpent. It's being called the destroyer. It's being called spoiler. It's being called the uh, uh, angel of death. Uh huh. It's being called a uh, waster. It has a lot of names. It's also being called Leviathan. Okay. So it has a lot of name being called. Okay. So it's the angel of death. You see, it pass. It passed through the land. It destroyed them because it's an evil spirit. It's the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. All right. Uh, Exodus 29 verses 3. I read. Speak and say, Thus saith Yehovah Elohim, Behold, I am against thee, Pharaoh king of Egypt, the great dragon, that life in the midst of his rivers. You see, the great dragon. All right. So the authority of Pharaoh was the great dragon, which is the serpent. Okay. When you go to Revelation 12, now you're going to find it over there, which is the serpent that from Genesis 3. You see, the food of this serpent, it is humans. All right. So Abba Yehua, 100% with, uh, with uh, capital letter, yes, is in this matter. That is why he's going to use all this Ogwega. <laughs> it's not Kareli. <laughs> to do a great destruction. Okay, they are evil spirit. That is what I'm talking about. They are evil spirit to destroy their own people. So right now we are done with this session. So let us see. Oh no, I think I, there's still one more to go. All right now, so I want to read the very last scripture for this part to go. Then we will, will now also look into if Abiyowa is not in it. All this Ogwega is going to be, you know, demon entertainment. Here I am, the book of Enoch, or Anok, chapter 15. I read, uh, where am I going to start from? And go and see, okay. <clears throat> Verses 2 now. Um, all right, let me take it from one. Okay, now. Uh, one. And he answered, and said to me, and I heard his voice from, uh, Fear not, fear not, Anok. Thou righteous man, a scribe of righteousness, approach hither and hear my voice. And go and say to the watchers of heaven who have sent thee to intercede for them, 
you should intercede for me and not me for you. Wherefore have ye left the high, uh, high, holy, and eternal heaven, and lay and lay with women, and defied yourself with the daughters of men, and taking for yourselves wives, and done like the children of earth, and begotten a giants? All these people you are seeing, they are giant, the very aspirin of serpent. They are giants, okay? Oh, my father. All right, now. Mm -hmm. As your sons, okay, four, and thou, uh, and uh, though ye were holy, spiritual, living, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourself with the blood of women and have begotten children with the blood of flesh, and as the children of men have lost after flesh and blood, as uh, those also do who die and perish, therefore. Have I given them wives also that they might uh, impregnate them and begot children by them that thou that does nothing might be wanting to them on earth? But you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life and uh, murder uh, an immortality for all generations of the world, and therefore I have not appointed wives for you. For as for the spirit ones of the uh, spiritual ones of the heaven, in heaven is their dwelling, and now the giants who uh, who are uh, preceded who are preceded from the spirit and flesh shall be called. Listen now, this is the origin of evil spirit, okay? And now these giants who are preceded from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits. Are this? <laughs> Shall be called. This is the name Abbe Yowa named them. It is whether it's calling it calling it demon. No, Abbe Yowa gave them this name, evil spirit. Shall be called evil spirit upon the earth, and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are whole, uh, born from men and from the holy watchers is their beginning and primary origin they shall be evil spirits on earth and evil spirits shall they be caught as for the spirits of heaven in heaven shall be their dwelling but in the spirit of the earth which were, uh, were brought upon the earth on the earth shall be their dwelling and the spirits of the giants listen now this is their summit abe yewa gave unto them for good time, he repeated one statement. They shall be called evil spirit, evil spirit, evil spirit. Now listen, now level. And the spirit of the giants afflict. The giant is the evil spirit, okay? They are demons. And the spirit, they are witches and wizards, this babala. This is the spirit that walk in them. And in the spirit of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and walk destruction on the earth and cause trouble. They take no food. But nevertheless, hunger and thirst and cause uh, uh, offense, and this spirit shall rise up against the children of men and against women because they have proceeded from them. You see, so these are the spirits that resident upon all this Babala. Anything that is outside Abba Yehuah, evil spirit is the one over there, face reality and get life. Okay, you cannot tell me that this power. It is holy power. No, it is unholy. You see all these witches. I was all this. Uh, it's also uh, what are they call it. <coughs> also, <laughs> yes, they are evil spirits. So now we are done with, with this part because Abba Yawa is in it. All oh, you, my damn wicked people, you're gonna see what is gonna be happening to you from now onwards. So all right, now let us see the other side of the e Toto Isobolizi. So if Abba Yawa is not in it, it's, it's going to be just a game, okay, fun, okay, entertaining demons. Because darkness don't cast out darkness, never. Devil don't know how to do something good. Devil can never bring about salvation, nor deliverance, not at all. If Abba Yawa is not in it, it's total a mababa lazy. Yeah, 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 ah, mama, yo. Nebo, 
Santa la bayende, eh? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So here I am, Matthew 12 24, wait, it's 20, 30. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow doeth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebel. Oh, it's Beelzebel, it is, he is the prince of demon. Oh, is the prince of demon, it is the Abededo. Revelation now you're gonna get is the king over them, okay. And who is the Abadedo? Is the angel of death. And who is the angel of death? It is the very serpent, the the tree of the knowledge of good. You see all this Ababala? What is this? <laughs> if Abaya is not in it, a <laughs> demon don't cast out demons. Never. Mm. All right now, Beelzebel, the prince of devils, okay? And Yahushua knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself shall not uh, shall be brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall they his kingdom stand? And if I oh let me first of all do something about that. <laughs> this is awesome. You see, if Satan cast out Satan. Therefore, he is divided against himself. Now, tell me, Bere, this is the power of Satan. All these things, all this, you see, these are demonic power. We prove it already. Now, in the kingdom of prostitution, it's demonic kingdom. So how dare you not say, the kingdom of Satan is also going to cast out the kingdom of Satan? No, not at all. It doesn't work that way. This is just demon entertainment because Satan cannot cast out Satan, excuse me. When you take Abba Yehua out of this movement, it's going to be total Izobo lazy. Mm -hmm. You over here, do you understand what is Izobo? Izobo, food that is being sacrificed in you know, order to gas in Fort Joshua, Izobo. The total Izobo lazy. Mm -hmm. If Yehua is not in it, it's gonna be Toto a Mababa. You know, a Mababa, when little children sit down, you know, playing, you know, they're doing all those food they said they are preparing, it's a Mababa. A uh, Mababa. All right. So demons don't cast out demons. Not at all. That never work nowhere, no way. Okay. Because these are demons movements. These are demons. All these things, <laughs> they are demons. Okay. So, the kingdom of Oba, outside Yehovah, is a demonic kingdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, the kingdom of prostitute is a demon. There's forces that back up these things. There's power that behind all these things. And those power, it is the kingdom of darkness. Okay? So, devil don't cast out devil. It has never been done. And there's never no way devil can bring about good thing. Mm -mm. If Abba Yehovah is not in it, it's totally my babalism. All right, 27 now. And if I buy a Belzebel, mm -hmm, cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? That is the game we want to see now. Therefore, there shall be, uh, uh, be that judgment. But if I cast out devils by the finger of Yehovah, then the kingdom of Yehovah is coming to you. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house? And spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. He that is not with me is against me, and he that is uh, gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Okay, so right now, he said, If I cast out devils by the finger of Yehovah, therefore judgment is already here. Let's see how he cast out. The finger of Yahweh, that a bow cannot stand, that darkness cannot stand, that Satan cannot stand. We will see that in Exodus 7. Okay, Exodus 7. Uh, 7. Let me quickly read some parts. 
8 now, some verses 8. And Yahweh spake unto Moshe and unto Aaron, saying, Where Pharaoh shall sp speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moshe and Aaron went into unto Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahuwah had commanded uh, Aaron uh, as commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod, Pharaoh, uh, before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and he came to, uh, and he became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men, like all this one, Oba called. Oba Fedu called, they are the wise men of Oba, okay? And the Pharaoh called, also called the wise men, and the sorcerers, you know, Abu, and now the magicians, of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantment. Listen now, for they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents by what stipulation? But the Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Okay, because it's in power, as the power of darkness, mm -mm, it can stand the true power. That is why I'm so glad that Abbe Yehua is in it. This will have been bringing another confusion. Instead of help, it will have been commotion. Because darkness don't cast out darkness. Mm -mm. All right. Oh. All right now. Uh, 12. Okay, now. There's a place I wanted to read. It said this is the finger of Yehovah. Yes. I'm here. 8. Exodus 8, 19. Then the, magi uh, then the magician said, Unto Pharaoh, this is the finger of Yehovah. Okay, so the magicians couldn't proceed no more. That was why this is the power that the, 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 the children we are using, where we already mouth you. He said, Which power do your children use to cast cast out devils? Devil don't cast out devils. You see, it is this very power we are seeing. Okay, it is this very power and proclamation. These are all our books, you know, that carries Usuga and also and all this spirit, which is a wizard. These are all the okay. But we see the power they are using, the authority of Pharaoh, it is the same thing, you see. So right now, the finger of Abba Yehuda, that is what the magician saw right in Egypt. You know, Pharaoh let my people go. That was what they saw. That is the finger of Abba Yehuda. Yahushua also said, if I cast that devil with the finger of Yehuda, therefore judgment has come. Because you are, you are casting out that spirit. You know, using the devil to cast that devil has never been done. It is Jezebel, uh, Belzebel. The very one they are using, it is her Bezebel. If I buy your wife, not to eat, 100% is Bezebel spirit. It don't cast out darkness. They are playing games. They are deceiving. This is how it deceives the whole world. Revelation 12 now, it deceives the whole world. And this spirit is doing great signs and wonder, but it's a lie wonder, okay? Just to deceive you. You can read uh, Exodus 12 12. I bet you what I said, I'm going to bring judgment upon the gods of Pharaoh. These are Pharaoh's gods, okay? And we see the authority of Pharaoh already, Ezekiel 29, 3. We see that already, Re Revelation 12 now, is the same that deceives the whole world. Okay, we see that already. I'm not going back over there. So right now, I want to see how they are deceiving you, playing games. If I bet your wife is not in it, how they are just, you know, entertaining you to make you feel good. But meanwhile, your soul is being engaged in danger. So first of all, we want to see act of opposed to now at 1911 so we are going to look into how they divide against themselves they cannot stand <laughs> okay <laughs> demo beat demo here i am i love a post 90 i take it from 11 and you who special miracles by the hands of shehu so that from his uh, body we are brought unto the sick handkerchief or aprons and diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Then thirty of the vagabond Jews took upon themselves, took upon them to call over them which have evil spirits the name of Yehoshua, saying, We adjure you by Yehoshua whom Shahu preacheth. And there were seven sons of Sceva, a Jew, a Yahudi. And chief of the prince who are uh, chief of the prince which did it so and listen to 15 and the evil spirit answered and said yeah sure i know sure who i know but who are you <laughs> this is how they divide against each other to, because you the demon don't cast a demon 
You go, you want to cast out demon wherever you don't know the authority. Uh uh, demon I said, I know this man you are talking about, you don't have his authority, okay? I also know the other one. Uh, uh, you don't have you don't carry his authority. So are you coming out to cast me out? <laughs> now wait for me. You're gonna see the repercussion. 16 now. And when the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on death and overcame them and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Yahudim and Greeks also dwelling at the Ephesus a fear of them or oh, alright now. You see. Because the demon possessed man knew you don't have the authority. You carry my power. <laughs> you carry the power of Satan. You are coming to cast me, me Satan. The power you have is the power of Satan. You don't you don't you, you don't carry the authority. Of Yahushua, no Yahushua disciple, which is Apostle Shehu. You don't have his authority. So you come in to cast me out with Satan. You carry Satan out. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. He said, You see, one person now beat is give serious beating to a whole seven men. He wounded them. He tore their cloth into pieces. He said, They all left bleeding. Yes, demon don't cast a demon. Because you are going to cast a demon with the demon again. You are demonic. You are possessed. You are coming to cast out demon. It doesn't work that way. Therefore, that is what he got. The higher power demon not beat nonsense out of him. <laughs> not there. Because this one is high ranking. You small demon. You are coming to mess me up. He beat nonsense out of him. Here I am. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. I'm just proving to you the evil spirit. How they are deceiving you now. A game. It's a game. It, 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 they are just entertaining people. If Abbe you are is not in it. So I read 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, I deny, I deny, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, I deny, I deny, have we not prophesied in thy name? They come again, the Christian. And in thy name have cast out devils. Really? You cast out devils? <laughs> and in thy name do. Um, many wonderful works, really. Listen, not twenty three. Then will I prophesy unto them plainly. I never knew you. Depart from me. Yeah, that work it iniquity. You see, because they they said thought they were casting out devil, but they never knew demon was playing game. Demon they never cast out no devils. <laughs> okay, in that name, that is Jesus, because Jesus is not the name of our Messiah, the lecture J that gave you Jesus, is in here 400 years old, all uh, this uh, uh, royal law you are reading is being spoken over 2,000 years ago, the lecture J is in the world history, it is the very last alphabet given unto humanity, okay, in use now, now you're 400 years old, and this all this word has been spoken over 2,000 years ago, did you see the spell, magic spell they cast on you through Translation that is the magic spell, that is the game. They are actually moving. Devil don't cast a devil because those people thought they were casting a devil. Yahushua and I said, No, it is not so. You didn't cast a you were playing, you are actually moving. <laughs> all right, now, mm. all right, now, Matthew 24 24. They also did a great wonder here, but today it was being called great wonder, but they never knew it was a lie. It's a lying spirit, okay. Matthew 24, 24, for they shall arise false messiahs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in as such much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. You see the miracle they thought that we are doing, it is deceiving miracle. It is not real, it isn't real at all. Mm -mm. It's not existing. There's nothing like that. Okay. All right, now we go to Revelation uh, 30 or so. All right, now here we are, Revelation 13, 11 to 14. I read about the first wonders, first you no know, promise, first del deliverance, first salvation. If Abba Yawa is not in it, this uh, whatever freedom is false, it's not real. Because demon don't cast out demon. Come on now, let's be real. Darkness don't cast out darkness. I read now, 11 to 14. And I beheld another beast coming out. Coming up out of the earth, and the two her and they had two hands like a lamb. That is the first Messiah and first deliverance and first you know freedom. And he a speck as a dragon is the serpent. You know the serpent. We see already the dragon. What they were doing? They also cast down. They already become a snake. But the holy power now swallowed them up. Okay. 
12 now. And he has his eyes, all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the beast, the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders. Listen now how they are deceiving you through this year. Olokun and Ishango. It is false. The demon don't cast out demons. Prostitution is a demon. It, it is demonic kingdom. Abba of Edo, whatever kingdom, it is demonic kingdom. Because if Abba Yawa is not in it, that is what we are proving out. All this Babala, we went to go and call. To come and be giving false deliverance, false freedom. It doesn't work at all. It is a lie, false. Okay, 13 now. And it doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the si on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth listen and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of these miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had a wound by a sword and did live did you get that it is false deliverance it is false you know promises it is false freedom and if Abba Yawad is not in it you are going to see we see how demon beat demon because they are divided against them uh, against themselves oh, we are we are going to be see all these our sisters in Italy before you knew it demon will be attacking them then that demon will be proven to them because you, you swore you took an oath you break the oath the demon will rain hell this is how wicked dangerous this thing is this is how it is it doesn't work that way Abba did his own he sit on it, 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 it that that was all but if a be you what don't move in this very movement all these our sister in italy they are going to be attacked by those demons because demon is already divided against itself okay demon don't give freedom that is not mm -mm. He will punish you for breaking the yoke. Meanwhile, his servant was the one that made the proclamation that you should let God and pay anymore. Eh? And I see some of that they are revolting, okay? Some of that they are revolting and said, no way. Was I do about there when I brought you? That is the demons. Some of them revolt and say, I still need my money. That even though you put them in the prison, you that did it, that causes, we are fed you. There is power in agreement. There's no way you can work together without an agreement. You agree to, you know, to come to Italy. You agree with her to pay her such a huge amount of money. If your wife is not in it, that court you take, <laughs> don't think this uh, Osoba, whatever, they come to reverse it. It doesn't work that way. That is kingdom divide against kingdom. Satan don't beat Satan. Mm -mm. The only one that beats Satan red-handed, it is the power of of Yehua. What Abba did for you now, uh -huh -huh. if Abba Yehua don't move in it, uh -huh -huh, it's going to be danger on you. Yes, why? Because darkness don't cast out darkness. It has never ever been done. If you take one, it's bringing ten back onto you. It take away BC. It take away death. You are uh, de uh, death. You are not going to, it take. It took that one away, but he's bringing seven. Uh -huh -huh. Trouble to replace that just one he take away. Because demons cannot do good thing. This is how wicked they are. Now I read Second Thessalonians 2. You can take it from 1 to 12. But I'm just taking it from 7 or 8. I write now 7. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now left will let until he be taken out of the way. Eight. And when shall that wicked be revealed whom Yehoshua shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the walking of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved all right so what are we talking about here we see i still have one more to put before i let you know why i i, I put all these things maybe now already you know already i don't know i'm just putting all this then i let you know why we come here okay demon don't cast out devil you take away a de uh uh, don't pay my dad. That is, you, you, you took that away from them physically. Everybody is happy. But spiritually, not even spiritually. If Abayawa is not in, in it, 
<laughs> he's bringing another problem. Seven problems to receive, to, to replace the one he took away from you. So this is how wicked demons are. That is how, because they can't, they, they, they don't have the ability. They, they can't do something good at all. How can the devil do something good for people? No, he's not in that position. It's work, it's wickedness. That is all he can do. He take one away, he's bringing another. So I read now Revelation 16, 30 to 14. And I saw three unclean spirits like flocks come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils walking miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them the battle of that great day of Yahuwah Almighty or Aloah. Hallelujah. You see, so I, I put this for you already. Now, if Abba Yahuwah is not, you see, they are playing games. Demos is doing miracle. But that miracle, where we read Matthew 7 or Matthew 24 24, the author of life called their miracle deceiving miracle. Okay, it has a negative connotation. And we also read. For a uh, second Thessalonians 2, you know, 7 to 9 or to 10, what did Apostle Shia, who also calls it the Apostle to the Gentile, a lying wonders? He said, with all deceivableness, with all that this one will be, you won't be able, able to even discover or to know what was that, but you will take it for real. All right, now we also read Revelation 13, uh, 11 to 14. The Apostle again, the Yehu the Revelator, what did he call it? The mark of the beast miracle. He said because of this miracle that he was doing, the whole world for the and worship the beast. And this is how you got the mark of the beast. Okay. So right now, let's tie it all together. What's also Revelation 16? We are just read. What did they also call it? A deceiving miracle. To deceive them. Okay. So here is the mysteries behind it. They are the one to cast the spell on you. Like this, my sisters. Likewise, I because I said I took the same hold, but I bet you what brother, you know, covenant away from me. Now, that bring you into that covenant, that cast the spell, for you to agree with demons is a spell on you. Now, that will also raise another kind of them like this upper of a door, to remove, on the surface, to remove those cars. Spell like what just took place. If Abba your wife is not in it, that is what we am availing unto you. So that will raise this upper of a door as they uh, uh, you know to take away or to make this kind of a proclamation. Now, after that, what are they going to be doing? What are they going to be doing is to ray hair on you, it is to ray destruction on you. Because they don't have the ability to do something good. They, they cannot favor nobody. They are demons. That is why they are being called evil spirits. They can't do good. They are evil. How dare you? How can you say a, a thing like this can save a human? No, human beings is more expensive than this. Store wood, iron, clay. This one can subscribe for human being goat. God cannot subscribe for human. The blood of God cannot save human. All this iron, wood, stone. These are total garbage. It can't help at all. No, it's filth. It's filth. Absolutely. It is total nonsense. We are dealing with the image of Yahuwah. How can this redeem human being? Really? No, not at all. These are wood. We use it to cook, okay? Alright, let me give you the picture or the demo that is responsible how they are doing these lying wonders to deceive you. They take one for them, they are bringing back several unto you. That's what we are dealing with. If Abba you what this is how wicked demo are, evil spirit are, they don't have the appetite to do something good at all. If they can do good, therefore we don't need Abba Yehuwah. Okay, they can't at all. When they take one, when they lighten your stress on in this way, they are bringing another destruction in another hand. Here I am uh, in the book of Anuka, uh, chapter 8. I'm going to read and let you know the trees, all these miracle line wonders we all read from the popular royal law. How are they doing it? Messiah said, I never knew you, but they said they cast a demon. They do many wonders in your name. Said me, I don't know. You are workers of iniquity. Evil spirit work in you. Uh, but this evil spirit thought that we are doing miracle. <laughs> All right now, I read. I'll take it from two. 
and they arose much ungodliness and they that and they committed fornication these are the of of, of, of fornication some jazza is the one that taught excuse me uh azazel is the author of what prostitution he taught it i think i'm gonna read it from there how women you know to make up to seduce me this demo taught azazel when you go to i think your uh, alevitical system you're gonna find azazel over there all the sins of yasra will be confessed in the head of azazel because he used his whole head to carry the excess luggage he brought into our lives this is the demo that responsible in you know prostitution taught women how to you know seduce me this is the wicked spirit that did it and as i said taught me to make sword it's also okay and knife and shield and breastplate and make note to them the uh, melter of the earth and the art of walking them and bracelets and this is for the woman and the uh, ornaments and the use of uh and the use of them and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and coloring of hell this is the demon that taught women all this nonsense we are doing in italy this is the demon this is the master huh? this is the chief master you want to come and cast it out with ogu how can ogu cast out ogu <laughs> we are talking about high ranking demon <laughs> now too and there arose much god uh much godly less and they commit fornication prostitution arose heavily and they were led astray and become corrupt in all their ways some just said this is the fetish miracle this freedom if abayawa is not in it it is fetish it is even more dangerous okay it is even more dangerous you take it one out another seven is coming back some just taught enchantment all this one some just said the demon that taught this enchantment all this uh, or go whatever it is some jazel okay it's been called some jazel some jazel taught enchantment all the sorcery this is the demon that is working with them and the root cuttings you see they also take some you know roof in their hand listen now amorous the resolving of the enchantments what i was saying over here that amorous uh, excuse me some jazel will give this logic he gave all this you know, instrument some jazel taught his spell how to cut you see what everybody about if do did if your wife is not in it is a spell so now he cast out the spell the spell is not only going to the madans it's also going to the girls because the girls break covenant now who is going to resolve it amorous okay you see the first time a spell was being cast an agreement was being reached out or conclusion this is what they're going to give unto me that is a spell who took it a winner is amorous if abayawa is not in it therefore this demon is big is a high ranking demon fair from glory he is the one therefore that will put that words in the heart of oba in order to destroy souls because they are sucking blood demons you break covenant therefore you're going to pay for it okay amorous and some jazz is going to be waging war even though amorous took it out some jazz is bringing out another service say what if unclean spirit go out, out of you huh into a dry land okay Found no rest over this said, Let me return back to my former house. When he now returned back, he said, As he's coming, he's bringing back what? Another seven wicked demon more than himself. He said, This position of that very policy is going to be worse than before. That is what Abba of Edo did. If Abba Yehuah is not in it. But he said, Yo, did he don't know? He told this, No, but this is what we are seeing. This one, this is what is going on. This is the mystery. If Abba Yehuah is not in it, this is how dangerous and how ugly a field he is. Okay. All right now, <laughs> let me let you know <laughs> what iron and wood and stone is from my father Abraham. So here we are in the book of Yeshua chapter what, uh, eleven. Yeah, I'm taking it. Yeah, eleven. I'm taking it from thirty way down to forty-five. Okay, it's worth already and it worth listening to. So, in order for you not to be, you know, engage yourself, but I bless Abba Yehuwa because it's right in this movement. Okay, demon don't cast a demon. This is the last part we are unveiling. Demon don't have the right to cast a demon. Never. It has never been done nowhere. They don't have the heart to do something good. If they can do brief freedom, why why do they bring freedom to themselves? Why are they eating human beings? Is it right to be eating human beings? 
All right now, here I am in the book of Yeshua, the popular book Bible we carry, or the royal law we carry, make references to the book of Yeshua. If you go to Joshua uh, 626, excuse me, Joshua uh, 10 verses 13, it make references to the book of Yeshua. When you go to 2 Samuel, uh, 2 Samuel 1 18, it make references to the book of Yeshua. When you also go to 2 Timothy 3 verses 8, it makes references to the book of Yeshua. So I'm ready from the book of Yeshua, like the book of Anuk, Jude, uh, 1 verses 40. Also make references to the book of Jude, uh, uh, Anuk. All right, now, all right, now I read. Let's see what I do. Is it's total garbage, okay? It can't save you, maybe. No. I read that. In the, uh, in the 50th year of the life of Avram, son of Taram, Avram came forth from the house of Noah and went to his father's house. And Avram knew Yehuah, and he went in his ways and instructions. And Yehuah, his Elohim, was with him. And Taram, his father, was in those days still captain of the host of the king Nemrit, and he still followed strange gas all these woods too uh sustainer and uh avram came to his uh, father's house and saw 12 gas <laughs> standing there in their uh, temples uh-huh and the angel like of about so have pen uh, about beneath have temple for all these idols okay and the anger of avram was kindled when he saw this image in his father's house and Avram said as Yehuah liveth this image shall not remain in my father's house so shall he so shall Yehuah who created me do unto me if in this uh if in three days time I do not break them all and Avram went from them and his anger burned within him and Avram uh, hastened and went, for, uh, went from the uh, chamber to his father's uh, to his father outer court, and he found his father sitting in the court, and all his uh, servants with him. And Abraham called, came and sat before him. And Abraham asked his father, saying, "Father, tell me, where is Yahuwah who created heaven and earth and all the sons of men upon earth?" And who created thee and me? And Tara uh, answered his son Abraham and said, Behold, those who created us are here, are all with us in the house. And Abraham said to his father, Madana, O oh Madani, show them to me, I pray thee. And Tara brought Abraham into the chamber of the inner court, and Abraham saw. And behold, the whole room was full of gods of wood and stone, twelve great images, and others less than they without number. This is how demonic the father of a powerful man of Yahuwah was listening now. 21. And Tara said to his son, Behold, these are they which made all uh, make made all thy uh, make all made all thou saw upon earth and which created me and thee and all mankind and 22 and Taran bowed there to the gods and he they went away from them and Abraham his soul went away with him and when Abraham had gone from them he went to his mother and sit before her and he said to his mother, Behold, my father has shown me those who made heaven and earth and all the sons of men. Now, therefore, hasten and uh, fetch a kid from the flock and make of it several meat, uh, meat, that I may bring it to my father's gods as, as an offering for them to eat. Perhaps I may thereby become acceptable to them and his mother did so and she fetched a kid and made several meat thereof and brought it uh, to Avram and Avram took the several meat from his mother's uh, from his mother and brought it before his father's ghost and he drew nigh to them that they might eat and Taran his father did not know of it and Avram saw on the 
uh, and Abraham saw on the day when he was city amongst them that they had no voice listen now they have no voice nor hearing nor measure nor one of them could stretch forth his hand to it <laughs> and Abraham mocked them and said surely the several meat that I prepared has not pleased them or perhaps it was to learn a little for them and for this of reason they will not eat therefore tomorrow I will prepare fresh several meat better and more plentiful than this in order that I may see the result and it and it was on the next day that Abraham the, um, direct his mother concerning the several meat and his mother rose and fetched three or five kids from the flock and she made of them some excellent several meat such as her son was fond of and she gave it to her son Abram and Tara his father did not know of it and Abram took the several meat from his mother and brought it before his father's gods unto, uh, into the chamber and came and now unto them that they may eat and he placed it before them and Abraham sat down before them all day, making perhaps they might eat. He want to know if they have the power or the ability to eat. They can't. Oh, and Abraham viewed them, and behold, they had neither voice nor hearing, nor did one of them stretch forth his hand to the meat to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, in the evening of the day uh, of that day. In that house, Abraham was clothed with the spirit of Yehovah, and he called out and said, Woe unto my father and his wicked and this wicked generation, whose heart are all inclined, whose, uh, whose heart are all inclined to vanity, who serve those idols, who serve these idols of wood and stone, which can neither he eat, smell, hear, nor speak. Who have mouth without speech, eyes without sight, ears without hearing, and without feeling, and legs without uh, move. Like them are those that made them, and that trust in them. Uh, and when Abraham saw all these things, his anger was kindled against his father, and he hastened and took the has turned in his hand and came into the chamber of the gods and he broke all his father's gas and when he had done this break uh, when he has done breaking the image he placed the ashton in the hands of the great gas which was there before them and he went out and Tara his father came home for he had heard the door, the sound of the uh, striking of the hash turn. So Tara came into the house to know what this was about. And Tara, having heard the noise of the hash turn in the room of image, ran to the room to the image, images, and he met, uh, he met, uh, he met, all right, Abraham going out. And Tara entered the room and found all the idols falling down and broken. Oh, and he, uh, the uh, Ashton in the hand of the largest, which was not uh, broken. And the several meat which Aram, his son, had made was still before them. And when Tara saw this, his hunger was greatly kindled. Mm -hmm. And he hastened and went from the room to Avram. And he found Avram, his son, city, uh, still a city in the house. And he said to them, he, What is this work thou hast done to my guns? <laughs> Listen now. Oh, Rabbi Yandi Robos Klima Han Telubu. Now, 39. Yerebo seke yeke yekebo 
Ima sekere bo yeke yeke oh Ye rebo sendele ima yandara bo seke Ima sendere bo yeke yeke oh Ye rebo sendere bo yandere bo Ha 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 And Abraham answered Tara his father And he said Not so mad on For I brought several meat before them Eh? And when I came on night to them with the meat that they might eat, they all at once stretched forth their hands to eat before that great one had put forth his hand to eat. <laughs> all right now, 40. And the large one saw their works that they did before him, eh? and his hunger was violently kindled against them. And he went and took the ashton that was in the hands that was in the house and came to them and brought them all. And behold, the ashton is still yet in his hand as thou sawest. Ah, what is the problem, Papa? For the word, and Terence's hunger was kindled against his son Avram when he spoke this. And Terence said to Avram, he saw in in this hunger. What is this? Well, what is this tell that thou hast told? Thou speaking lies to me. Is there in this God's spirit, soul, or power to do uh, thou hast told me? Are there not wood and stone? And have I not myself made them? And cast thou, and cast thou speak such lies, saying that the largest God that was with them smote them? Is, is thou that didst, didst place the ashton in his hand? And then so says he uh, smote them all. Oh. Really? So you know, <laughs> there is no spirit in there. There is no soul. There is no breath. There is just wood and stone. And you make it yourself. How can you make a God for yourself? If you can make a God for yourself, therefore, that God is worthless. All these things that they did for themselves. This kike. Just look at nonsense. Me and Castle Moose of Mamas. Now, 43. And Abraham answered his father and said to him, how canst thou then save these idols in whom thou is in whom there is no power to do anything? Oh, uh, you can't eat. Uh uh. Let them put this goat now. If they don't remove it, a few days gonna be rusty. You know. This Amaze is just you know gonna be gonna be washing like you know. They are totally zobolizing. All right now. Can these idols in which thou trusteth uh, deliver uh, trusted deliver thee? Can they hear thy prayers when thou callest upon them? Can they deliver thee from the hands of thy enemies? Or will they fight, uh, will they fight thy battles? For this against, for, uh, for thee against thy enemies. Okay, can they fight a battle? My sister in Italy, can this wood still fight your battle against your mother? Not at all. They are powerless. If I bet your wife is not in it, it's total garbage. Now, since it's a bull, is it? It's totally my baba, is it? And this is okay, is it? Stupidity. Okay, is it? All right, now. That thou shouldest serve wood and stone, which can neither speak nor hear. And now, surely it is not good for this, of, it is not good for thee, nor for the sons of men, that they, uh, uh, that they are connected with thee to do these things. Are you so silly, so foolish, or so short of understanding that you will serve wood and stone? Ah, and do after this manner, and forget Yehuwah Elohim who made heavens and earth, and who created you in the earth, and thereby bring a great evil upon your soul? In this man uh, matter by serving wood, stones and wood. These are stones and wood. Do you see that? Now, since he God, God is creepy, he's crying on the ground. 
that is total nonsense why should that i'm taller you are taller than the god you say you call your you call gods you are taller than him horrible shanda look at you up look at your gods you are speaking if you want to talk to him you have to bend that that is total a ma baba lazy this is total is lazy 46 now they did not uh did he not our father in those days of old see in this matter and Yahuwah of the universe brought the waters of flood upon them and destroyed the whole earth and how can you continue to do this and save gods of wood and stone who can hear no who can't hear no speak or deliver you from oppression thereby bring or uh, 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 bring down the anger of Yehuah of the universe upon yourself. Now, therefore, my father, refer, refrain from this and bring not evil upon thy soul and the souls of the uh, 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 of the household. All right. So I, I would like to end it here. So do you see? He put Ashton. Take now. You are the one that did it, not me. The father does say, "What? Am I not the one that make this?" <laughs> Do they have any power? Do they have any brain? There is no spirit in them. Therefore, why are you serving it? Look at what people call their gods. This is total nonsense, okay? Don't remove this good. If you just tell you, you say you're going to run from, the, from your own palace because everywhere is going to be stinks. This is total nonsense. See what they said they can save you, maybe. Not at all. He will never say, will never say, he will never say, yeah, you say yeah. Here I am, John one, chapter eight. Take you from one to twelve. Maybe by now you know the story already. The woman caught in adultery. Okay, the Lord says she should be stoned to death. So let's see how Yahushua humbles them. Now I'm gonna return. And Yahushua lift up himself and saw. All right, now they disappear already. Okay, now. I read our uh, seven now. So when they con uh, when they continue ask when they continued when they continued asking him, he lift up himself and said unto them, All right, I think I'm gonna read it from three. Okay. And the scribe and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they sat and when they had set her in the midst, they said unto Miss uh, Master, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in the adultery in the very act, okay. Now Moshe in the law command us that such should be stunned. But what what says thou? This um this day said uh tempting him that they might have to accuse him, but Yahushua stepped down and with his finger wrote on the ground. You know the law was being written in the finger of Abeyewa. So what was he writing in the uh, uh writing on the ground with his finger? Reminded there. How the Ten Commandments was being given, okay? <clears throat> what did the Lord said? That was what it was writing. With the finger of you are writing what the law quoted about this very art. And thou, and as thou, he, and as though, excuse me, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone. At her, okay, and then gave his step down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, they convinced by their own conscience and went out one by one, uh, beginning at the eldest even unto the least. And Yahushua was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And Yahushua lifted up himself and saw none but the woman. He said unto her, Woman, where are the, uh, where are, where are the accusers? Had any man condemned thee? She said, No, Master. Uh, she said, No, I do not. And Yahushua said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. All right now. Why did I bring this? 
he that have no sin in his hand, let him first of all cast that stone at her. <clears throat> in the law of Moshe said, when they be caught, when you caught a man and a woman, you know, doing the very art, they are not married, they both must be stunted to death. Okay, the very first high that saw them doing that wickedness, like he said, that person is the first person to cast the stone. Now, these people they just drag only the woman. Where is the man? So that's what Yehoshua was writing because the finger of Yahweh wrote all the command, all the commandment commandment is 613. Okay, but the most popular one is this because 10 commandments, but all together is 613. So among the season, the commandment said, when you caught both of them, you that caught them, first of all, cast the stone. The others will follow. They both will be stoned to death. Now you caught this woman in the very end. Where is the man? That is what he wrote down. Where is the man? He reminded them what the Lord said. Where is him? Why did they let him go? Yahushua don't have the right to condemn the woman because he was not the one that saw the woman in the act. At all, he have no right to do it according to the law. So the one that didn't have the right to do it according to the law was the very first person to see them in the very act, and both of them, both the man and the woman, needs to be stoned to death. But maybe the man was their brother or their people that set that one free. So that was why he asked he that has no sin. First of all, if you know, sin simply means breaking the royal law. That is the definition of sin. I think first John three two. See. Simply, that is the definition of breaking the royal. That is the def definition of sin. He that has no sin, first cast the stone. He that does not break the royal law, first of all, cast the stone. They were convinced because they know he quote the law. He wrote the law, so that we are not. They not drop their soul because they are unworthy. You also, you also break the law. For you to let the man go, you break the law. For the first eye to see uh, them, and you could not stone them as the law, so you break the law. So if you know you are not breaking the law, first of all, try it. So all of them knew that he called the law, they dropped their soul. Why did I include this? Oba and uh, Oba of Edo and all this Igbe wager with red danger. You break the law. Mother in Italy break the law. So how dare you now lay course upon Mother whereby you are both in the same categories before Abbe Yehuwa. You don't have the right to proclaim a destruction upon Mother, excuse me. According to the royal law, you also break the law. You call it this, told this nonsense, your God. You break the law. In fact, you even did the worst. All right? You break the royal law. Mother, break the royal law. So you don't have the right to judge her. You don't have the right to proclaim a declaration on her. According to the royal law, it doesn't work that way. That is why I say, if I be your wife, not in it. You are just at a drama. You are acting the best movie in Edo. The one that Edo people is going to be talking about generation to from generation. It is the, it would be awarded the best, you know, movie. Whereby it has no meaning. Whereby it brings no salvation. Whereby you took one away. Demo, another seven wicked demo. If I the position, if Abba Yewa don't move, move fast. They are going to be attacking my sisters. That is the prayer Abba Yewa led unto me. Pray for them for protection before I finally, you know, bring them out. He said, by myself, I'm going to provide for them my own. His own people is in Italy. But the men, the men were facing a great slaughter. The woman, likewise, it was so unbearable. The sight of this vision was so, so unbearable. He said, this is what I do, they are doing to my people. Not just in Italy, but the majority of them is in Italy. The whole thing begins from Italy. So we are going to start it from there. He said, I myself, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, myself, I'm going to provide for them. I'm going to bring them out. I'm bringing them back home. So the land of Israel, okay. So you Oba, Oba of Edo, or whatever you being called, Oba of Edo, or whatever. All this one that put all this is Shango, whatever. This is not one being rude. This is not one. This this is not disrespect. You have your own belief. I have my own belief, okay. And he said it cannot. He said that uh, 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 father will be against son, and son will be against father. If my father is a part of what I will be against him. Because what you believe is not what I believe. We all have freedom of speech. This is not somebody being rude. This is not somebody talking, you know, uh, uh, disrespectful. No, 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 no. I'm talking about what my royal law said. The very one. Because you believe spirituality. I do believe spirituality. Okay. But you are getting it 
are wrong you did not do this spirituality in the ways of other you were rather you are at a drama or this whatever it is total nonsense it is drama rather you are engaging these people even more in danger for demon to be rough at death okay you break the royal law madam break the royal law you don't have the right at all to cast your store at madam all this store this ogun and this and go whatever uh wood you brought out it can't do madam no absolute nothing it can't because the royal law make it so clear when you defy the land the land is going to spew you out you defy the land you serve gods you serve all this nonsense as your god you believe on all these things you bow down to god a thing you a god you use your hand to me you are told under your gods give him food he cannot eat speak to him, he cannot talk you believe on nonsense this nonsense and you use this nonsense to casper you don't have the right you are not worthy you are disqualified a sinner don't have the right to judge a sinner you are sinner before uh, heaven. You break the royal law. So do madam break the royal law. Therefore, you don't have the right to cast a spell, madam. You don't have the right to judge, madam. Your ju judgment is invalid. All right? So right now, we are done. I want to give a word for the madam, the so-called madam, in Italy or wherever, in Germany, even in Holland, they are all here. Thunder is coming to you. Because it is time. Babylon is falling. Babylon is falling. So I put the both picture already. So Abba Yawa is in it 100%. That is why I'm so joyful that my sisters and brothers that is a victim of this, like I once was, you know, are saved. Divine protection is being given until, the, until Yahushua comes, you know, and bring them out. If I were a kind of a person that has already have money, I myself would have taken some part of them, you know, setting up business for them. Not to be doing that crap anymore because what Ob what Oba of Edo did is only the surface. Okay, if Ayawa is not in it, it's at a drama. Okay, demo dot cast at demo. All right. So here I am. Uh, the book of Yashia, good chapter six. We are taking from ten to eleven. For the madness, because <laughs> some heart already has been hardy like Pharaoh, because when I begin to see it. I wanted to upload it. I said, no, this is nonsense. This is demo fighting back. Some of them said, no way. They are guests here have to pay them. I wanted to upload. I said, no, I don't want to, you know, put this nonsense. Already I prepared my message already. So let me have time for my own message. I don't have time to follow that garbage. Because some, they are pharaohs. They are not going to let go. Therefore, they are going to die mysteriously. Listen now. Yeshua chapter 6, the book of Yeshua chapter 6, I take it from 10 to 11. And all the animals... And beast and fowls, we are still there, and they surrounded the ark at every place. And the uh, ray had not yet descend, descended till, uh, till seven days after eleven. And on that day, Yehua caused the whole earth to shook, and the sun darkened, and the four, uh, foundations of the world raged, uh, and the whole world and the whole earth was moved violently and the lightning flashed and the thunder arose and all the fountain in the earth were broken up such as was not known to the inhabitants before and Yahweh did this mighty art in order to terrify the sons of men the, the, uh, that they might be no more evil upon earth and still the sons of men will not return from their evil ways. And they increased the anger of Yahweh at that time and did not even direct their heart to all this. You see, Abba Yahweh, before a brief flood of destruction, every one of us knows about this uh, flood of destruction. When you go to the popular, uh, popular royal law we all carry, Genesis chapter 6, 7, 8, we see what happened to the whole world. Everyone was destroyed only eight people left over for abbey to begin with you see so before abbey bring that flood bring that great disaster the, 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 the fact a human being heart was he had it he did something terrible he did something very frightening to put them to put fear into them for them to repent yet their heart was hard they was not ready to let go wickedness they was not ready to they was not willing to let go at all they still go by their wickedness and by their evil way exactly when i see this mother i say okay your heart is already being hardy for destruction therefore you're going to face the wrath of abba yehua 
because this that apparent this is what they believe my dad should not be afraid of this nonsense i for me i don't i don't because this is total nonsense okay but my dad, you should not be afraid of all this it may be because as we unveil it already in the very first picture that i be you what is in it it's gonna use it to destroy you but here they are not afraid oh which is a wizard that have wicked spirits gather together make a proclamation and a declaration yes so this man that they are not afraid do you see after the one that really hurt me more was this little girl if you see her she's not become like just a broom she's just like a stick very thin i don't know if that one is sick i don't know she's very skinny i said what is it you might be or oh, what talking or is, is it done baby oh no it was so tiny so thin i don't know what was that whether she's sick or mother was the one because they all they will also dry you up eh you can't fat you can never fat they will dry you to the very smallest thing of it all because they say when well, you got fat therefore you are going to delay their money they will starve you they will not allow you to eat you will not sleep you won't have rest so that you will be so stressful therefore you will be lean you will be so thin eh? because they said that's what they are white people that's how wicked these women are this girl said she paid 30,000 30, already and she passed through uh, uh, Libya and crossed the Mediterranean Sea and she paid 30 already. And the must now ask us to pay 35 and she already gave 30, now left over 5,000 and when the other of her don't make this a proclamation and she not let her mother know I'm not a part of it anymore, freedom has come to me. The mother now said you are a liar. I said no, this is wickedness. Such mother needs to die mysteriously okay but as i read already you see abby you want this something to terrify them in order for them to repair from their wickedness but yet they don't they don't mind that was why the whole world was destroyed so there are some men they are not going to let go until they are crazy or until this ogwamba scattered them they're not going to let go because abby you is going to use that ogwamba you know to work with them as we unveil already so family this is the finishing touch or finishing part of this great deliverance that Abba Yehuwa used the Oba of Edo to bring into this our generation. It is remarkable. This is one thing that I kept in my heart that will forever make me to remember this Oba. What Abba Yehuwa used this Oba to do, it could pastor, it couldn't use pastor. This is how few Oba of Edo is better than pastor. You will be surprised. Oba of Edo will repent and enter heaven. All these pastors they will rust in the link of fire. That is sure word. Okay. Ab Ab you wanna use Nebuchadnezzar to bring deliverance to his people. Look at you, that call yourself Pastor Sule Johnson destruction. Johnson Sule destruction. Oje Dikbo Krista Hinome T B Joshua. Look at all now since they, they, they said they, 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 they carry the word, but we, our people is dying. People is dying in the Mediterranean Sea. People is, oh, oh no. But I bet you want to use it. A fetish king that knew not who made him. But I bet you want to use anything. Let me not praise him in that manner. I bet you want to use anything but anything to bring deliverance. He did not do it because, you know, he is in need of this ma. No, he did it because he wanted to bring out his people from bondage. That is the mysteries over there. So we got the both sides already. If Abba Yawa is in it, we see it. If he's not in it, it's total nonsense. All right? But we bless Abba Yawa because he's right in it. So that's my joy and that is my, you know, our glory in this matter. Masekeiba Karakabo Sei Masendebo, ye, Karakabo, ye, ye, Buseke, re, ye, Karakabo, ye, ye, Karakabo, ye, Karakabo, Maseke, bo, Yahua, Karakabo, sebo, Busendere, Yahua, Karakabo, se, Karakabo, ye, 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 Karakabo, Karakabo, ye, ye, Karakabo, Masendebo, Karakabo, say, Buse, care, ye, Karakabo, ye, ye, Masendere, rabo, Karakabo, say, Karakabo, ye, rabo, say, ye, 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 
Imo Santa Labei. Karagobo, Yarabasa, ye o. Maseke Borabo. Maseke Borabo. Maseke Bahie. Karakabo, ye. Karakabo, ye, ye, ye. Karakabo, say. Karakabo, send the bow. Karakabo, say. I bless you, Abba Yehua. Family Shalom. And a happy Independence Day to my two brothers and to my two sisters. For you, my brother, no more shantry, okay? It is time to return to your glory. Abba Yehua has made you a head of your house. To be a father, a responsible father and a responsible husband. And to provide for your family. That is who you are. That is the reality of you. No feminism. Feminism, feminism, it is a very wicked place. You sit at home, woman will take your place. No, that is spiritual back rot. That is you now walking with your head instead of walking with your feet. But I bless Abba Yawa because the yoke 100% is being broken. Now you are returning back to your own heritage. Likewise, you my Edo sister. You are not meant to be masculine. Taking the seat of a man, providing for man, man sitting at home, you acting like a man, it has never been done that way. That is satanism. That is demon. But I bless Abba Yehovah for the yoke is being broken. And the yoke is being destroyed. Okay? That is my joy. So happy freedom. Happy independence day. It is remarkable. It is in history already. Uh, all glory be unto Abba Yehovah for this wonderful movement. It has it, it is not yet complete. The powerful consummation for you to know this is going to be a sign. Mark it down. This is going to be a sign. I do, my do brothers, my do sister, mark it down. This is going to be a sign. Abba Yehua will make you to believe that he is the one who did this very movement through Abba of Edo. When this help come, a supernatural help is coming to you from the heavens for you to stop prostitution utterly, completely. For the glory of a husband and a wife not to be seen among you all. Abba Yehua is going to open the door by himself for you. And when this door is being opened, you're going to remember this message. Because he started it, he will finish it. He gave you bread. He, will also, he gave you fufu or he gave you rice. He will give you the stew. He gave you enough padded yam. He will give you the soup. He gave you bread. He will also give you the tea. He gave you banana. He will give you the granite. Alright? He start. he will finish it. He knew money answer all things. So he by himself, mark this video, he's going to provide that help for you miraculously, powerfully, that you will know that is the sign that Abba Yehuah is the one that used a do Oba to begin this journey. He himself is going to consummate it by opening a powerful door for you all, not just one person, all, okay, in order for you to be any your daily bread. It is prophetic. That is the sign for you to know that this deliverance came from above. Not too long and so soon it will happen. Happy Independence Day to my adult brothers and my adult sisters. Shalom.